So that's eight, 85,000 population, 2006, Mary Ann Wilkinson. And yeah. when you moved to Canada, it was what? About three to 4,000. <laughs> uh, but I that was I, in 2006, so we're over 100 grand now? Uh, yes, we are. The, the population is still growing because there are new housing being done. And people with families like to come here because they have, we have a lot of things for children. There's a huge number of small children here. That's why our schools are overcrowded. Yeah. But the, uh, uh, and they, people can buy a house where they have a yard for the kids to play in and things like that. Whether it's right. a townhouse or not, it yeah. doesn't have to be a single home. So that's why we get a lot of people moving in here coming because they have families. This, uh, Marianne Wilkinson, by the way, is the uh, counselor for Canada North. And the boundary for that it is... It goes from the 417 to up to the urban boundary up at the end of Morgan's Grant. And right? then it's Eli's. And then it goes into... Uh, um, West Carlton March. March, right. town, March is the part of Canada that used to be in the city of Canada, which is now right. is rural. Right. How long have you been a councillor out here? Uh, well, I, I come and go. Yeah. So this is my 22nd. You were there, and then you were back, and then yeah. you were, I, right? It's my 22nd year. I had nine years as head of council. Last reeve of March Township, first mayor of Canada. So I've, I've seen a lot of things happen here. Yeah, no doubt about it. You're really seeing this community grow up. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. It, the community actually was growing up right from the beginning. It was a remarkable community in the early days, and the people uh, came out in droves to help develop the plans that we have. So we looked ahead. We, we had, when we were 4,000, we had a plan for how we were going to be 60,000. Yeah. So we would be able to handle it, and we didn't do things ad hocish. And a little bit of that's There's happening a lot of now. Planning, yeah. And the uh, result of it is that we have a lot of things here that a lot of the other communities would like to have more parkland. Uh, we have some facilities. We have the natural environment areas. A lot of those saved. I did the 40% open space agreement when I was mayor. Right. It's not enough. <laughs> because, and we've just had part of that now, which is saved, right. designated as a provincially significant wetland. We didn't know that yeah. in 1980 when that was done. There's a lot going on right now that you're working on, right? So oh, yeah. tell me some of those things that well, are Well, we're having, um, we have a big new recreation complex, swimming pool, double gyms, soccer fields, a lot of outdoor things. The contract has been let. The construction of the, the site plan has just been submitted to the city formally, and they should be into... Uh, construction uh, later this year and it's to be opened in 2013 right and to do that we have to raise 1.75 million in the community because we wanted an eight-lane pool instead of a six-lane pool so we could have meets and things here so the community we're already making progress on that but we have a long way to go yet uh -huh. and then the library we have is a very very busy library it's the busiest branch library it has more circulation than libraries three times its size yeah so there is going to be an addition put on to it we'll make it into the district library for the whole area and uh, that is the route for architecture now we have the money uh, put aside for uh, most of the costs and uh, that'll be going ahead probably uh, later this year or next spring yeah, yeah. and the uh, so there's what we're seeing is that there's, there's been a time when there wasn't a lot of new facilities at it but they're they're coming they're catching up now and then the urban boundary is at planning committee next tuesday yeah, and yeah. they're recommending a fairly sizable area up along march road be added into the urban area yeah because you see all kinds of uh, housing going up uh, just down uh, just north of us here well, right but the, well, the housing up north of you they're not going to see much more now because almost completed there's nothing left to build on really? you can't get a single family house in canada right now a new one except a couple in the in the rock areas where they're very very expensive yeah, so yeah. uh this is to uh, allow people who have moderate means to be able to have a home of their own yeah listen thanks for dropping by oh, to see us. And, uh, best of luck i know you got all kinds of things going on well, uh, you're doing a great job out uh, here well i got a transit commission later on i have a whole list of things about buses because they really cut our bus service bad, badly so you yet. need to work on that yeah. too well that's what well, we're working on you never stop working i know that <laughs> mary ann wilkinson joining us hey uh you know all about the elk ranch we're going to go out there right now we sent sarah freemark to go check out the elk ranch a little while ago okay Here's, well there she is it's actually just across my boundary in the rural area but oh, i know the, i know the owner's well. Here's Sarah. Yeah.